Hi, I'm Pauline Stolzner with Nevada Neurology and Vascular Center, and I'm going to explain and demonstrate how to give an occipital nerve block for occipital neuralgia headaches. Many times, these headaches trigger migraines. So if you stop the occipital neuralgia, you stop the migraines. Only trained medical professionals should attempt what is being shown in this video. Do not try this at home. The learning objectives for this video are you will be able to demonstrate the location to inject, you will be able to identify the steps needed to inject, and you will be able to acknowledge the reason why it is important to inject both sides. First, prep the syringes for the injections. Each syringe is filled with 0.5 milliliters of bupivacaine and 0.5 milliliters of 2% lidocaine. They are 30 gauge insulin needles and one inches long. No need for anything bigger and you can even go smaller than this. Next, if you will, make an imaginary line from the tragus to the mid head. At about the midpoint is the area you need to inject which is right in between the lesser occipital nerve, which is right about here, and the greater occipital nerve, which is right here. This is the sweet spot, right, right here. This is where you want to inject. Next, you clean the injection site with alcohol and let dry. Now, it's not a sterile procedure. It is aseptic, so you don't have to worry about infection, very low risk of infection with this uh, procedure. So uh, then you grab your syringe, make sure the bevel side is up, and you go into your injection site and just poke it in like so. Hold it. If you hit the skull, you can pull back. You pull the plunger back, making sure you're not in a vein or an artery. Although it is not bad if you do it such a small amount of uh, bupivacaine and lidocaine that it wouldn't have really any effects that you would have to worry about. And that's that side. So you want to do both sides. Go to the other side, mark out the landmarks again, and you would take mark. These are the two occipital nerves that run from the back portion. And they come up and they feed each other towards the top. So a person can be having pain on the left side and the right greater occipital can be feeding into that, causing that pain. So it's important to do both sides. So same thing mark the spots, clean it off, and uh, inject the same way I explained earlier. Once you have injected both sides, have the patient sit in the chair for a moment longer, have them do their neck stretches side to side as the lidocaine numbs the area and makes them feel overall much better. And that's that, that's an occipital nerve block. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. I hope it was helpful to you. For research articles on the subject, please refer to the references section of this page.